Hello, I'm joined today by Daniel from Nokia, and we're on Nokia's booth at MWC, and we're going to be talking about 5G Advance. Daniel, um, looking at service providers, what are the key drivers for them to adopt 5G Advance, you know, when looking at the perspective of their business consumer customers? Great, great to be here. Um, I think from a 5G Advance point of view, we're just getting into 5G Advance now with release 18 coming up. And what you will see is that there is a huge capability driver that comes in from a network side. So when you talk about 5G advanced, you've got use cases such as XR, which will be an important element. But as you go through, you see that there has been some lack of adoption. And 5G advanced will bring that capability up. Uh, we ensure that the verticals are transformed with the use cases that come in. Uh, and then you'll be able to drive efficiency across energy and other elements as well from an operational perspective, bringing in AI, ML, and making sure there's efficiency across uh, when it comes to verticals. So in terms of um, ecosystem collaboration in the era of 5G advance, I mean, how is that shaping up? And can you point to any key applications that have emerged so far uh, surrounding 5G advanced? I think what's very key about 5G Advanced is that it's all about experiences. So one of the elements is how you expand experiences of use cases. And some of those use cases are coming forward in the verticals already. We're seeing some efficiency related use cases coming out and we're working with operators across the world to do that. And then as release 18 comes in, those use cases will also go into specific verticals. Uh, for example, if you look at automation, that's going to be a key area where we'll be able to realize some of these use cases. And earlier we talked about XR, that becomes a viable use case for us today. You can already see some application and we'll continue to extend that into different areas as well. So all that's coming through with release 18 and the final release where release 19 will also determine some of these uh, elements coming forward for 5G Advanced. Okay, I mean, uh, energy efficiency, that's always what's rising very high in operators' agendas these days. And I mean, how can 5G Advance help in that area? I think energy efficiency is an extremely important part of what Nokia is doing today as well for our customers. So one of the key elements for us in energy efficiency is our products. We need to make sure that with 5G Advance, our products are getting better and better today. You can find this in our white paper, which talks about 90% efficiency in certain use cases that come across. So that's going to be a key element for us. Continuing on the R&D focus to make sure our product are more efficient as they go into customer networks, not compromising on quality. Uh, that brings us to the next step, which is the software features. When it comes with products, we need to make sure our features are top notch. We're allowing uh, more automation on those features. And then we recently launched something on deep sleep mode for our uh, Habrock products. And something like that will continue to enhance as we go into 5G. And the last element I would say is also the automation we talked about. We have our Monterey portfolio, which fo focuses on energy savings. Those will just get advanced as we use more advanced uh, AI ML features on automation through our networks and making sure that we're able to capitalize on those, driving the energy efficiency and bringing the OPEX down for our operators. So looking near term and long term, what are Nokia's plans to encourage adoption of 5G advance, get it up and running on a global basis? I think first and foremost, Nokia is part of uh, 3GPP, working with them to make sure we've got the right common understanding to drive the 5G feature roadmap as it comes across in release 18, release 19. So that'll be a fundamental area. From an R&D perspective, we talked about commitment towards our product features, and that continues to be the most resilient way forward of making that happen for our customers. And what we're doing with our customers is about building the ecosystem. So we need to make sure some of this is truly going to enable 5G as we get into 5G advance, and in some way moving towards 6G as the time comes. So working with the operators, helping them partner with the right people in each of the verticals, we're able to do that today. And we continue to drive that ecosystem through the right partnerships, bringing them together, and hoping the operators across the world understand the benefits of 5G advanced, open up new cases for enterprises, and really drive down, most important thing, is how you monetize these networks in the long term. Absolutely, on that note of monetization, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, Daniel, for your time to talk about 5G advanced. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you so much for being part of this boot today. Thank you. Enjoy your time. Thank you.